Welcome back to the show. And this morning, we are joined by Timmy Tokwe Alaosani, a registered dietitian and nutritionist with over five years clinical experience in the dietics profession and a proven track record in evidence-based nutrition, education, and counseling. She is a full member of the Nutrition Society of Nigeria and the Association of Nigerian Dietitians. Tokwe is passionate about improving the health and well-being of people and individ individuals. And today, we will be talking about nutrition, preconception, and fertility. Good morning, Tokwe. Hi, good morning. Hi, nice. good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I mean, before we came on air, we we're talking about the topic, and I, my colleagues are already going. <laughs> <they're> going. <laughs> yes. Yes, so nutrition, preconception, and fertility. Mm -hmm. I'm very moved to ask this question. Are you saying that before a lady starts thinking of conceiving, she should check out her nutrition? Y yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. And, you know, in the society we find ourselves today, that's not common. Yes. And I feel like that's part of why we have such a high or alarming rate of infertility among, you know, couples. Because many people are not paying attention to the stage that they are before they get to the stage where they, you know, are trying to, you know, have babies okay. or trying to conceive. The yeah. preconception stage is so important because the conception stage actually depends on what happens during Before. the conception stage. Okay. Many women are, you know, unaware of certain conditions that they have until they start to, you know, try to conceive. Yes. Many women are, lack, uh, are deficient in iron and they do not know. Many women are, you know, living with nutrition-related diseases like um, PCOS. Yes. They do not even know about it until mm -hmm. they get to the point where they're trying to, you know, have a baby and then they're like, okay, let's take, let's take this test and that yes. test. But, you know, if you're already putting into consideration your nutrition Mm -hmm. which of, obviously puts in your weight in, um, into consideration. Yeah. You know, it puts in other um, related, you know, issues, I issues that yeah. could arise. If you're already tackling it before you get to the point where you're trying to conceive, it could actually make a huge difference. difference. Okay. Because at that time, you're, you're already making efforts, you know, even before you get there. get there, exactly. Now, I want us to, to be very detailed about this, but we don't have so much time, so I'm just going to give you, like, pointers so you mm -hmm. direct it. So now for a lady who is, who is thinking that, okay, I'm going to want to try to conceive in the next six months. Mm -hmm. So now we're in the preconception phase. Mm -hmm. So what are the things she needs, to imp imp she needs to add to her diet? What are the things she needs to be careful about in her diet? Just so that for a base, for a base preparation, she needs these basics. What are the things? Yes. So it, it all comes back to, you know, healthy eating, a holistic, okay. you know, approach. So not, that's not the stage where you want to try to eliminate a certain, you know, class of food or a certain okay. type of food okay. because you read something about it or because it worked for somebody. Okay. You want to actually embrace a balanced diet. You want to eat your fiber. Mm -hmm. You want to eat your nuts and seeds. You want to also consider, you know, even testing yourselves for, you know, this, um, I mean, something like PCOS, PCOS like, like yes. I mentioned. Mm -hmm. So many women are also living in fibers and they do not know. Yes. But when you're eating foods that are, you know, anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. things like, you know, your ginger, yeah. your garlic, mm -hmm. you're eating those things as a routine. It's, 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 you're eating it as food. Mm -hmm. You don't have to now, you know, so start to take it as medicine because at that point, you know, you already know that, okay, this is something that you've been eating. eating yeah. So eating, you know, your nuts and seeds, making room for it in your, you know, regular rice, in okay. your desserts and, you know, everything yeah. like so that. So by nuts and seeds, you're referring to the almonds, yes. the pistachios and the rest? Uh, ca cashew, nuts, cashew nuts, you know, okay. ground nuts. Okay. You know, Fabulous. make room for all those things. I, including, you know, your regular foods. And, of course, fruits and vegetables. We cannot overemphasize it. <laughs> yeah. Colors. I always say colors. Yeah. Try to look for ways to put colors in your plate. When you're eating rice, is white. When you're eating yam, is white. Mm -hmm. Get a way to get the peppers in it. It's yeah. red. Get a way to get, you know, your cucumbers, your oranges in between meals. It really, really helps, helps. a lot. Okay, now, it's good that you brought PCOS because I, I, I do have friends who have discovered this and fibroids as well and it's just it's like at an alarming rate now in our society so now let's assume that we've gotten to the point where this has been discovered and now this lady is trying to conceive how do you work in your nutrition in this in this um in, at this point how do you improve your diet to be able to conceive considering all these factors that are already underlying yes okay so um when it comes to things like that it's highly individualized because what works for a might not necessarily work for b mm, okay. but then it's important like i said to you know consider if you have somebody who has you know high blood sugar or you know things that have to do with sugar you want to look at your diet in that you know in that guide, in that light, light, you want to, you know, check out foods that, you know, have lesser glycemic index, you know, things that are high in fiber that will keep you full. And if you are overweight, you want to try to consider losing some weight. 
I mean, it's not, no, it's not about more, the more work, you know, more results. No, you want to look at where, you know, the, you are able to strike a balance, where your body is able to function optimally. For fibroids, I mean, it's something that has to do with inflammation. Again, yeah. you want to try to include all those anti-inflammatory foods, like your ginger, your turmeric. You know, you want to try to include all those things in mm -hmm. your diet, mm -hmm. in your food, while you're cooking, into your smoothies. Yeah. You know, just try to look for a way to get them into your food. It helps a lot. Okay, well, this has been really educative. Thank you so Thank much, you so much. And I, I, I hope we're still having you next week. <laughs> Please, we have to have you because we need to talk extensively about this. But just so, for, just for the benefits of people um, that are watching, before we leave, before we let you go, now let's do. You know how I like to do an ideal meal. Yeah. Now, so an ideal meal for a lady who is pre, who is at the preconception stage. So, what should an ideal meal be? I know you said balanced diet, but yes. just give us like beans, vegetable, this. Let's, yes. Let's have an ideal. Okay. Meal. Okay. So that will also again depend on that individual because sometimes adequacies vary. Okay. Some people are, you know deficient in say iron yeah. now this kind of people they need to make sure that they are including when they're including vegetables you want yeah. to choose those ones that are higher in iron, iron. you know okay. when you're taking fluids for instance something like zobo i mean yeah. you want to try to you know take zobo sometimes instead of your sugar specific beverage yes. and it also has vitamin c yes, so that does. way it helps you to absorb the iron that you know is coming from your food so for a an adequate meal you want yeah. to look at your carbs of course you okay. want to look at your healthy carbs yeah. your complex carbs, carbs fruits, vegetables, even rice. I mean, that's, that's also that's also okay. like, fine. Okay. You want to add some, you know, pulses, legumes, like yeah. beans, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, different kinds of beans. It doesn't even okay. have to be the brown beans. Yeah. Then you also want to make room for your protein, your yeah. plant protein, okay. your meat, your meat, eggs, egg or fish. even plant um, uh, pr proteins, not just yeah. animal protein. Protein, okay. Yes. So you All want right. to look at those things. And then, of course, healthy fats. Yes. You want to cook with Little, little amount of fat and of mm -hmm. course choose from the ones that are unsaturated yes. instead of saturated, saturated sure. yes. yes thank you so much Sokwe. it's thank always you. a pleasure having you i am sure you have learned more than a thing or two about um diet preconception and fertility you can go on our, our, our youtube page to um, grab more information about this or drop your comments on our facebook facebook twitter or instagram at tvc connect but we have mm standing by in the kitchen